Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and we're up to part 11 of my office building in Revit course. So that means we're up to 11th hour and I'm showing you how to go from start to finish on a complete two, uh, multi-story office building project all within Revit producing all of the necessary project information. And in this part 11 we're going to be talking about the details. Details are really important. In Revit uh, we're creating some callouts and then I'm showing you how to do detailing work and how to make everything look uh, the way it should look for construction uh, documentation so you can actually give it to the builders so they can build it. Uh, now uh, for this uh, course I, I always like to make it a bit more interesting just by showing you how to make some additional additional uh, things. So for example in this course I show you how to make a, a custom family, a custom annotation family that allows you to annotate your uh, details a bit easier. Uh, so I show you how to create this family where you can add, uh, add um, the names of the layers of your floors and things like that. So it, it's a cool family, it's a cool addition. Also I, I show you on a real life project how to solve all of the problems. It's easy when you're doing a tutorial to just pick out something that works for you but uh, for a project like this uh, I had to figure everything out and I show you how to uh, do all of that stuff and how to create these cool details and also I show you a couple of different approaches so uh, for some of this detailing work once you zoom in into a larger scale uh, you're going to get to a point where you have to choose are you going to be representing something using annotation elements so so are you just doing uh, drafting or are you using model elements so are you modifying your building to add more detail to each uh, to each model element. So I show you both approaches. Both can work, uh, and both can work in different uh, for uh, for different purposes. So I show you all of that. Okay, this course can be found on my Patreon. First link in the description. You can find this part as well as all of my other parts and all of my other uh, advanced Balkan Architect courses. I've got over 39 hours of content over there. Okay, so let's get into Revit and let me show you what we have done. Let's go. This tutorial covers all of the section details, so here we have the regular section that I've already started with, and then here we have one detail or call out over here, that's number one, uh, this one is uh, number two, or actually, yeah, this one's number two, this one's number three, the foundation detail, and then we have number four, this is similar to this, but here it's a connection between the roof and the curtain wall, and on the other side it's a connection between uh, the roof and the curtain wall, and a, uh, the roof and the, a regular uh, concrete wall. Okay, so let's maybe start off from this one because I think it's really interesting. As you can see here, we have a regular flat roof. The layers aren't wrapping. It doesn't look, really look the way that you want it to look. And uh, in the callout, uh, if I open it up over here, now we have the proper look of this thing. So as you can see now, the uh, thermal insulation is wrapping all the way around. The, it's connected with the thermal insulation of the, uh, of the roof. Here we have these anchor points that are holding the facade in place and also we have all of the sheet metal elements uh, sketched out over here uh, that show basically how the water protection is working for this particular detail. Moving on, let's get back into the section here. For example, this uh, foundation detail was a complete mess. Here we have uh, this foundation and then it's connected to a foundation wall and as you can see the thermal insulation is going in this direction for for some reason. The way that Revit connects these parts, sometimes it can be really annoying, so that's what it looks like here in this uh, regular section. And then on our callout, we have fixed that really well. So here's the foundation detail. As you can see now, we have the proper uh, way. So we have this first foundation slab on which we have placed this uh, brick finish. Then we have a uh, basically a, a, an insulation layer from water. So this is water insulation. Uh, this is what that's represented like. And I show you how to place this. Then we have the thermal insulation. Moving on here we have the uh, just the regular concrete wall and then we have all of the foundation uh, layers. So I show you how to create this uh, cool callout. Going back to our section, next we have this one. This one is quite interesting. So for that one, I think that's this one. Yeah, I show you how to do that. And here, this is that uh, parametric family that I've talked about. So if I just copy this off to the side, this is a cool uh, parametric family that's for adding uh, basically uh, information on a layers. So this is 
basically all of the layers in this uh, in this uh, this ceiling and then uh, you can just select it and here in the properties you can just add more lines so if, if I type in six lines as you can see now we have six slots for six layers so that's how that family works I think it, it looks nice but it's also quite functional and also here I show you for example how to do all of the floors so here we have the floor here we have this protection and the floor has been uh, turned into a floating floor as you can see here it's wrapping around here the insulation material and then we have the regular wood flooring and here for this panel the facade panel I show you here how to in an annotational way how to modify it so it has a uh, finished layer on the outside and then thermal insulation on the inside and then on the other one on this one here I show you how to do it using model elements so this is a model element where the panel uh, family has been modified to include two layers so that's that uh, different uh, style of approaches that I show you for uh, Revit but there we go that's all of the uh, details that I'm showing you how to uh, create in Revit. I hope this uh, is interesting and helpful to all of you. So again, as I said, if you want to check this out, check out my Patreon. First link in the description of this uh, video. There you can find all of my uh, all of my courses on this office building, uh, this whole office building. Let me open up a 3D view for you to see. Yeah, so all of the courses for this office building and of course I'll be adding more courses in the future. Uh, in total on my ch on my Patreon I have over 39 hours of content and over 300 Revit project files. So if that's something you're interested, check it out. First link in the description. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll be back with another regular Balkan Arctic tutorial in a couple of days. Have a nice day.